Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. It is eight o'clock in the morning. It is very cold this morning. Um, but we are fortunate enough to find ourselves happy and alive. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who has um, submitted their tests. I did respond to every test that I received. Every test that I received, I did say to you received or I can't find the attachment or like that. I did, uh, you, are, you are going to get your tests back with feedback from me, latest Wednesday. So Wednesday is the latest that you're going to get uh, feedback from me from each and every test that I've received. I'm going to give you guys your feedback and tell you to say, okay, no, this is fine. Um, I can see this, etc. So that you are also able to see from my side. Um, you are also able to see from my side how, uh, how, how actually, how actually best, or let me say how actually, um, you, um, I, do I see your understanding at the current point? So Wednesday, as I repeat again, Wednesday is the latest you'll receive feedback from me uh, in regards to your test. So I'm just going, it will just be big feedback. I'm going to write to say, okay, I've seen how you work things out. I've seen how you, got, how, how you, you wrote, I've seen what thing you've done, etc. And also I suggest uh, things for you to say, maybe try this, try that. So Wednesday will be the latest. I want just to check something from you guys. I want to check something from you guys as well. So out of everyone in the test, can you please just, uh, not test, sorry. Everyone in the class right now, out of the 11 that are in the class right now, can you please raise your hand if you've either written or sent me? All right, let's, let's start this. If you have sent your test to me, please raise your hand so I can count. If you have sent your test to me, please raise your hand so I can count uh, the, 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 the um, what's this? The hands. If you have sent your test to me, please raise your hand. Um, if you have sent the test to me. Uh, and then, right, that's, that's, that's the first thing I want you guys to do. If you have sent your test to me, you can please raise your hand. I see there's only two. If you have written, if you have written, let's do this. If you have written so that we don't confuse stats. If you have written, please write in the chat, I wrote. Let's get the statistics now. If you have written, please write in the chat, I wrote. Right? If you have written, uh, Please write in the chat, I wrote, so that I can count to say, okay, X out of the 11 who have attended today have written the test so that um, I can have a general number and then I can know who must still send me their test and stuff so that I can evaluate. So I've got one, I've got two. Uh, can I just get out of, the 13 people who are here, I just need to know how many people have written. So I've got two who've written that they've wrote. So if you have written the test, please write, I wrote, okay. So I've got three, three, let's see, out of the 13, out of the 13, I've got three now who have written in the chat that they've wrote. Let's see how many have written the test. Just write in the chat, I wrote. That's all I'd want from you. Um, Please write in the chat, I've wrote. That's all I'd want from you. Um, that's all I'd want from you. Simple in the chat to say I've wrote. So I've got three who said, is it three only who have written the test out of 13? Is it three only who have written the test out of 13? Is it three only who have written the test out of 13? Okay. Still three from both sides. So it's only three people who have written the test out of 13. 
four to add with someone else. It is the only three who have written the test out of 13. Okay, going once, going twice, three times. All right. All right. So, okay. Okay, so I I get that it's four, four right now, out of thirteen, out of fourteen people who have written the test. I'm going to ask again at the end of the lesson. Um, at the end of the lesson, I'm going to ask again. Right now, I would want to share the last question. Um, right here, I would like to share the last question. Um, that's what I'd like to share quickly. Um, right. So, um, here we have, um, here we have the memo, right? This is the last part of the memo that we didn't touch on the last time we're together. Oh, uh, what happened? Okay, let's do it again. Right, so this is the last part of the memo that we didn't touch on when we were together the last time. And it was Umpo owned a pizzeria. She made 12,820. Uh, uh, she made 12,820 rands, right? In one month. So she's made 12,820 rands in one month. With each pizza costing 20 rand, how many pizzas did she sell that month? So the question is as follows, right? That Umpo, Umpo uh, may, uh, owns a pizzeria, right? And then she made 12,820 in one month. With each pizza costing 20 rand, how many pizzas did she sell that month? With each pizza costing 20 rand, how many pizzas did she sell that month? Right. So um, it's very, 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 very simple. Right? You have the number of how much she's made. You need to know how much of that compared to, if you know that, okay, I have, I have my price and I want to know how many of these or how many times must I, 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 I sell this at price as that to make that, right? Or you have the big amount to say you've got 12,820. And you want to know that having that in mind, <coughs> if one is 20 rand, how many 20 rands are there? Or how many pizzas did I sell to make that? That's the question. And for us to get an answer of 641, we must divide. And remember in long division, you are forever subtracting your multiples. You are forever subtracting your multiples. That's long division. That's the art of long division, that you are forever subtracting the multiples, right, of the divisor. And when you are finished with your question, your device, your, your remainder must not be more than your device. So your remainder here must never, ever, 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 sorry, your remainder, whatever you left it, must never, ever, ever, ever be more than your divisor. Right. That is the art of it. So we start dividing. We ask, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. We ask, because two digits, it only goes into two digits and more. Right, are we together? I hope we are together. So since it's two digits, I only divide in either two digits and more, but I must divide into something that is either equal to my divisor or more than my divisor. So if I don't find 20 first, I can't divide yet. So I see it's a 12, okay, no. Digits, 128, uh, perfect. Wow, how many times does 20 go into 128? Then I think, okay, 
128 is not a multiple of 20. What is before that there is a multiple of 20? I think to myself, what about 120, okay? How many, to, how many times does 20 go into 120? Aha, six times. Six times 20 go is what? 120. 128 minus 120 is what? Eight. Bring down the two. Then I start again. 20 into 82. Wow. 82 is not a multiple of, 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 of 20. But I know that my multiple of 20 is 80. And if it's 80, how many 20s are in 80? Four. So I know that I put a four here. Four times 20 is 80. 82 minus 80 is a two. Bring down the zero. Then I ask myself, how many times does 20 go into 20? Once. One times 20 is 20. 20 minus 20 is zero. Get my final answer of 641 pizzas. So that entire month she sold 600 and 41 pizzas at a cost of 20 rent each at a cost of 20 rent each the next question is do we understand the first question is everyone cleared up with the first question is everyone fine with the first question do we understand the first question before i move on to the second question because now we're ending off the memorandum then we need to start looking at geometric patterns and the rules are we fine with it? Are we happy? Is everyone happy? Right. I have a yes, yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome. This is what I want. This is what I love. This is what I love. So I feel, is everyone happy? Is there no question at all? Are we fine with long division? Are we fine? Do we see the picture? Do we see how we moved from the word problem? Do we see how we moved from the word problem? Moving from the word problem, we get into how to be work it out because that's what must happen, how we move from the word problem to how to work it out. We must actually see the picture first. So do we see the picture? Do we actually see the picture of how everything is working out? Okay, let me unmute here. Hello? Hello? All right, fight. Let me try here. Hello? Hello? Not working out. Hello? Hmm. Okay, let me try here. Hello? Sir? Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks, and how are you? I'm excellent. Uh, do you have a question? So for number, um, uh, for number, so I don't really know which number we are on. We are on 7.1. We're ending off the memo. Remember, we finished up to the shape on Friday. So now we just had questions yes, in the last part of the, the test paper. Then we start our new work. So I wanted to end that off. And so I wanted to ask that yesterday I sent my test. I'm sorry that I sent it a bit late. No, it's fine. It's fine, my darling. As long as you sent it, I'm happy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Nah? Thank you so much again for sending your test. Nah? No worries Thank about you, it. Sent late. As long as... As long as I have it, uh, then I'll be able to advise on how we should move on. Okay, Thank you sir. so much. Thank you so much. You're a superstar. You're a superstar. All right. Uh, all right. No question. I, I don't really like this. No, when there's no question, but hey, let me not. Right. So a lot, uh, Orlando Pirates soccer players play 14 games per week. If one player gets 500 a, a game, how much will he get paid if he has played for three weeks? So in your mind, you must think, okay, one of the best teams in the world, which is Orlando Pirates, uh, and I'm going to say that again, but yeah, one of the best teams in the world, which is Orlando Pirates, is playing a soccer game, right? Uh, they're playing a soccer game. 
each player gets paid 500. Let's say that, yeah, they're being paid per game, right? And as a soccer player, I want to calculate to say, okay, fine. In a month, normally a month is three weeks. In a month, how much will I make uh, plus minus a month or three weeks if, if they only can play uh, soccer for three weeks per month, right? And then I think, okay, right. Each and every day, I play two games because remember there's seven days in a week. So if it's 14 games, it must be on a ratio of saying maybe two games per day. And I want to know how much I make uh, if I get for 500 a game for, 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 for three weeks. I know that one week, one week means that I've played 14 games, right? So I need to work out how much do I first make in a week, right? A week would be saying 14 times 500. That would be saying, well, how much you make in a week to say no. It's 14 times 500, which is 7,000. Now, one week equals 7,000 rands, right? And then I say that, okay, that 7,000 rands multiplied by three means that after three weeks, each player gets 21,000 rands, right? Because remember, it's 14 games per week, meaning one week equals 14 games. Right, then I need to multiply that 14 games times 500, right? 500 rands, which gives me 7,000. Then after that, I must multiply my 7,000 multiplied by three, because what? 7,000 means how much I've made in a week. So then it's three weeks, so it's what? Multiplied by three. Then I have, after three weeks, it's 21,000 rands. Do we understand that part? So I can move right along because I don't want us to waste time. Do we understand that part? Are we fine there? All right, I feel that we are fine. Let's move right along so we can actually uh, do other work. Right, seems that we are fine there. We are good. Awesome. Then yeah, you have 38,000, uh, 38,806 in your bank account. If you are going to share the money with your 24 family members, how much will each family member receive? We use long division again, because now we want to know to say that for out of all the family members, if I split this money equally, how much would each family member get? Right. So the point 92 is basically decimal division where we're going to keep on adding zeros here and dividing continually. If you wrote, 16, 16 remained at 22. I was not, I'm not going to really fight with you. I just wrote 16, uh, what, sorry, not 16, 16, 1,616, uh, 0.92, because this would be best to see it as a decimal in rands to see that, look, each member is going to get 1,616 and 92 cents. But if you maybe have written it to say, look, we haven't really touched on decimals yet, it's, uh, I won't really be against you now but the one thing i would like to look at in this question is what the process right i would love to look at the process the process is important to me to say how do we move from how did you do the whole long division process uh, i think i have a question sir hello how much marks when if you got the um the long division correct how much marks will you get but then i got the decimal wrong because i couldn't get that i'll right. give you the entire four marks oh it's not written here the four marks oh the marks are not here oh sorry about that let me just show you that quickly I'll give you the entire four marks. I don't know what happened to the marking part about it because the marks were here. Like remember last week when we showed, I had the marks on. I think the pay the the thing took it off. Like you see here, are you with me? Yes, sir. Right. So I would have given you mark here. It's four, right? It would be mark there. Yes, sir. Mark there, mark there and then for answer. But so I got the decimal. Um, I I got it wrong. Remember, I said that did but did it, it? Okay, then you'd be say you'd only subtract one to say okay, you'd get the three out of the four, 
But as I said, remember that we haven't touched on decimals yet. I haven't done decimals with you guys yet. So okay. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really be, I wouldn't really put a gun to your head to say, ah, you understand? Because mm -hmm. I had done, I haven't touched on decimals as yet. Let me also, wow, why didn't it, this, this one is just this. And uh, okay, this would just be method. And in here it would have been one and two and one, two. But last week it did show the marks. I don't know why today the marks are gone, but it's, hey, it's, it's life. Right, so yeah, I wouldn't be on your head exactly to be like, ah, you feel me? As, uh, okay, thank you, sir. Do you get me? As long as you get me, it's fine. Say that, look, as long as, as long as, because my point here is the process. I want you to have the process. That's what I want. Do you understand? Thank you, sir. That's yes, what sir. I want. So, is the, do, you, do you understand the process? Did you get the process right? Yes, sir. Then no, I'm but happy. only the pro the the division I got it correct. But when you said um round off to the decimals, that's okay. where I got lost. Okay. Then, I then got that means wrong. I must now go and touch on teaching you guys decimals. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you so much, ne? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's why, guys, I had said that because I have not taught you guys decimals, I can't really fight with you now about the whole decimal part because i haven't touched on it yet i thought maybe you'd know it because it's some it's part of grade four but it's fine um let's go into the work for today are we happy here with the long division all we needed to do was same divide multiply subtract bring down we saw it's 24 we start with the first numbers which is 38 24 into 38 goes once 1 times 24 is 24. 38 minus 24 is 14. Bring down the 8. Then I say 24 into 148 goes how many times? 6 times. Why? Because a multiple of um, 24 is 144, which is what? 6 times. 6 times 24 is 144. 148 minus 144 gives me 40. Bring down. No, not 40. Gives me 4. Bring down the zero, which is 40. 24 into 40 is how many times? Once. Why? Because 40 is not a multiple of 24. So it's 1 times 24 is 24. 40 minus 24 gives me 16. Bring down the 6. I have 166. 24 into 166 goes how many times? 6 times. 6 times 24 is 144. 166 minus 144 is 22. So you'd have 16, 16 remainder 22. If you are going to do the whole decimal part, then you are going to put your decimal point and then you're going to bring what we would have called a zero. These are the decimal zeros because now you're going into your tens, your hundreds, all of that. But um, <coughs> I will emphasize that as we go along later. But if you have 16.92, I'm happy. If you have 16, uh, if you have um, uh, 1, 000, uh, uh, 1,616 remainder 22, I'm fine. If you have 1,616.92, I'm fine as well. Right. Um, let me go into the work of today. Right. So I gave you guys homework. And I do remember giving you guys homework. So I gave you guys homework, right? And my homework was simple. My homework was saying, I want you guys to look at, yes, let me jump to you. I want you guys to look at rules and geometric patterns, right? I want you guys to look at rules and geometric patterns. I had to jump to here because of time. And I said, when you look at a geometric pattern, to get the following number, it's following a particular rule. Just as here it says that you either get increasing repeating patterns, decreasing repeating patterns, increasing growing patterns, or decreasing 
brain patterns, right? So what did you guys find out about geometric patterns on your own? What did you guys, when I said go and look at rules and geometric what did you guys find out? What did you guys find to say that when we're looking at rules and geometric patterns, this is what it's speaking about. When we think about a rule, I even ask you guys a simple question. What is a rule? What is a rule? What is a rule? What is a rule? If I speak to say, no, um, it's a rule. What do I mean? When I speak about a rule, when we're talking about rules, to say this was a rule um, or you broke the rule, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? When I speak about a rule, what are we talking about? What are we saying? When we speak about a rule, to say this is a rule. Hello? Sir? Hello? Sir? Sir? Yes? Yes? A rule is more like the number you're going to, a rule is the number that you're going to use, like, um, you're going to plus or minus a time, the number you're using. So a rule is? The number you're using to. Please repeat, the number you're using to. A rule is? Like, okay, in general, when I speak about a rule, what am I talking about? Okay, it's quiet. When I speak about a rule, right? A rule in general, in life, you can even put this down. It is something that you must follow, right? It is something that you must follow. Like even in, 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 in general, um, when we talk about um, certain things such as a, uh rules of 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 the of of the road you must follow the rules of the road you understand you on the road and you driving and then they say okay the number one rule is that you must always keep left you drive on the left hand side of the road that's a rule that's a rule when you're at a stop sign you stop when you see a red robot you are a red robot that those are rules you, you, you don't break, if you break them, uh, in life, a bad thing will happen. Such as in maths, if you look at long division, it's a rule to say you divide, you multiply, subtract, bring down. So it works with patterns to say, for you, for this specific pattern, for you to follow the rules of this specific pattern, for you to keep the, 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 the rule of the, this specific pattern and not break it at all, is that you must always, for example, number one, add three to get the following number. So to say that if I want the, the following number of that pattern, which is three, six, nine, twelve, going on, I must continually adding three. I can't change it. That is a rule. So please, guys, write this down here. Please, please write it down so that we can go to the other parts. Please write it down. Please write this down. Um, please write it down, these, these particular rules. Given a particular rule, you can extend the pattern. You can either add or subtract to get the following term, or you can divide or multiply to get the following term. Meaning that for you to get the following term or the following number or the following, for you just to complete the pattern, you must follow the rule. It does not change. It does not change. You, you, it, it sticks that way. If, for example, 
with Fibonacci numbers. I add the previous, the previous two numbers to get the following number. That's Fibonacci, right? So Fibonacci says, okay, uh, I'm starting you at one and one, right? I'm starting you at one and one, right? So I know to get the following number, I must say one plus one is two. Then to get the next one, I must say one plus two is three. To get the next one, I must say one plus, uh, all right, what is it? Two plus three is five. To get the next one, I must say three plus five is eight. That's Fibonacci, right? If I start saying, okay, no, 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 no. I feel different. Now, instead of adding um, five and eight, I'm just going to multiply the five by two. Now I've broken the rule. Now I'm no more dealing with the same pattern. Now I'm starting a new pattern. Now I'm doing something else. So that's how rules and patterns work, is that you must follow the rule. Hence, you must know the pattern. Hence, you must know the rule of the pattern. For example, here, 77, 66, 55, 44, 33, 22, 11, 0. I keep on subtracting by 11 to decrease. It's decreasing. So I must know to say that, okay, this one is decreasing. I'm subtracting 11. So I can see that not. I am following the exact pattern the way it should be. Those how rules and patterns work. Do we have any question? Are we done writing? If taking a screenshot, have we taken a screenshot? Remember, guys, I always say, use the technology to the best of, like, to all, or you can, like, use the technology as much as possible. Like, use the technology as much as possible. Use the technology as much as possible. Are we done? Are we done? Have we taken a screenshot? Have we taken a screenshot? Are we done? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are we done? Please, guys. Screenshot, if you are writing, what I'll do. Let me do this. Let me give two minutes to write. Two, okay, let me say three minutes to be fair, right? If you're writing. If you're taking a screenshot, take a screenshot. As I say, guys, let's use the, the technology as much as possible. Let's use the technology as much as possible. Last week, we started speaking about patterns, right? This week, we're still going on with the patterns, and now we're speaking about the rules and patterns. We're speaking now specifically to rules and patterns. Last week, we, we did everything. We looked at the ones with the shape, then went to numbers. So now we're looking at the rules and the patterns to say, how does, like, to fully understand a pattern, you must know its rule. It's the only way. You must know to say, oh, it, this pattern has this rule. This is how this pattern is operating. All right? This has this. This is how it's operating. That's the only way you best understand patterns, how patterns work. Remember that when we made an example of saying, if you have someone who's doing the same crime each and every way, for you to understand the, 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 how this crime is it, it, operating or how the criminal is operating, you must see that he keeps on doing the same thing over and over and over again. Maybe in his mind is following a particular rule. That's how rules and patterns work together. That it keeps to according to the same rule. Over and over and over and over again. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? I'm just giving you guys enough time to have this because this information is important. I you will struggle to do your homework without it.
Hello. One more time. Okay. It disappeared. Try again. Hello. Hello. Seth. Hello. Yes. Um, has the points always be the same number? When remember you... that you've got growing. Thank you for the question. But remember that we've got growing and repeating, right? For example, look at this one here. We've got one, three, um, one, three, six, ten, um, um, fifteen, twenty-one, etc., etc., etc. Right? And look, first you've got one. The difference between one and three is two, right? So it means was plus two. Here, yeah, three and six is three, so it was means plus three. Six and ten is four. That means was plus four. 10 and 15 is 5, that means it was plus 5. 15 and 21 is 6, that means it was plus 6. 21 and 28, it was 7, right? So it means that the rule here is that the number that you keep on adding by increases by 1. Yes, I do know that. Remember that we have growing patterns as well. But the crucial part I want you guys to understand here is the rule part. And thank you also for the beautiful question is that Yes, you do going to find a situation where the number escalates, but it is in a, in a chronological order. What is chronological? For example, it follows a, a particular order of saying like, like, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Those are letters in a chronological order. So even when the number that you're adding by increases by one, it is in a particular order. Even if you are going to add numbers uh, and the number you are adding was increased, increased by two, meaning that maybe when you're adding from one the, to, the, to the pattern and the number that we're adding to, to the same pattern has its own, like saying it's two, four, six, it is in a particular order. Remember that for a pattern to have, uh, for something to be a pattern, it has to be a, a, a repeating part about it. And the repeating part about this when you're adding such numbers is that it's following a particular order of saying, look, for me to get the next term, I must just know that whatever I'm adding increased by one. So if, if, if I'm by the seventh uh, number and I want to get to the eighth one, it means that whatever I'm adding to must, it must be plus one. For example, here, yeah, it was what? Plus seven. So to get the following one from here, it was what? Plus eight. To get the next one was plus nine. Next one, plus 10. Next one, plus 11. That it is, but that one also what you speak about, growing patterns. Growing patterns. So yes, the number that you do add by or multiply or by can increase, but it can sometimes increase by one, by two, you know. It's just make sure that you understand the rule of the pattern. That is what is crucial. Are we done writing so that we can just try a quick class exercise? Are we done writing so we can just try a quick class exercise? Are we done writing? I take that we are done writing so we can go to a quick class exercise. That's what I want to do. Um, right, please try. Please try. This one and this one here quickly in two minutes. I'll give you two minutes for that. So two minutes has started. Please try those two patterns and try and see what really is happening in those two patterns. Get at least the next four, four terms or four numbers. Get at least the next four.
please get at least the next four. Get at least the next four. Twenty seconds left. Right. Who will answer for us? Hello? Hello? Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm good. Give me the next four terms for both, uh, for both uh, uh, patterns. Um, so, so I only figured out the first one because it's a bit right. easy for me. Um, right. So, for the first one, it, um, mm -hmm. it was like counting numbers like more. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. if you say, like, plus one, plus two, mm -hmm. plus three, mm -hmm. plus four, plus five. Excellent, plus excellent, 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 excellent. So, you, do, you couldn't see the second one? Mm -hmm. I was trying. I... <laughs> It was, uh, it was okay. Good. Think about it. What is 300 minus 285? Uh, um, 300 minus 200. Okay, um, think, 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 think. 300 minus 285. There's a lady, you know, there's a lady. Um, 15. Exactly. So what are they keep, what do they keep on my subtracting by? 15. Exactly, you're a superstar. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, wow. No, 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 don't do that laptop. Thank you very much. Here we go. Here's the following numbers 35, 44, 54, plus simple, plus 2, because here yeah, it was plus 3, which is 5, plus 4, which is 9, plus 5, which is 14, plus uh, 6, which is 20, plus 7, which is 27, plus 8, which is 35, plus 9, which is 44, plus 10, which is. um. Or plus twelve, uh, plus um, eleven, which is um sixty-five. Plus twelve, which is um seventy-seven, etc. Plus thirteen, which is ninety. And then here you keep on just subtracting fifteen. So from two hundred and ten, you can just subtract fifteen minus fifteen minus fifteen minus fifteen minus fifteen minus fifteen minus fifteen until you get to zero until you get to zero. It is simple as that. Are there any questions? Let me just pop up your homework because my time is up. Uh, here is your homework. Please screenshot this. If you are writing down, take down number one or uh and number eight number one number four number eight right quickly as well quickly guys before you go 
Can you please write in the chat if you've written or not? Quickly now in the chat, if you've written or not. Quickly now in the chat, if you have written or not, can you please write, I wrote um, in the chat quickly. Quickly guys, quickly, quickly. I know you have a, a class very soon. So all I want is one more minute. Can you please write in the chat if you've written? So I've got one. Uh, if you have written the test, if you have written the test. So I've got one. I've written the test. One. Um, one out of 17. Quickly, if you've written the test, written the test, can I please get people who have written the test? So in the chat, can you quickly write if you've written or not? Because earlier, what all I got four. So, right, so it's one, it's two. Um, earlier on, I got four people who say they've written the test. Um, please, in the chat, can please write, uh, I wrote or please. Earlier on, right, so I've got four now. So I've got four people who have confirmed writing. That is awesome. Um, going once, so I've only got four. Going once, going twice, three times. All right. Um, I take it that they now have to confirm that the number is four. I'll have to confirm that the number is four people have written. Okay. Thank you guys so much for attending. Thank you so much for being an amazing class. Thank you guys for being special. If you have written and um, you want me to check your test, actually, please, if you have written, please send me via email your test uh, so I can check it. But please do that. Send me your test uh, through email so I can check it. That I can tell how my people are, how you guys are doing. I can tell how you guys are doing. But thank you so much for attending. I love you all. You're all special. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Goodbye.